In today's gaming news, Crisis 3 enters open beta next week, Nintendo reveals new game from Monolith Soft, Wind Waker gets an HD remake, and THQ is dead, long live THQ's assets. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is Wednesday, January the 23rd, and my name is Force, here with today's gaming news. First up today, the open beta for Crisis 3's multiplayer begins next week. Starting on January 29th and lasting until February 12th, an open beta for Crisis 3's multiplayer will be available. The beta includes the museum and airport maps, along with two gameplay modes. Hunter mode pits two cloaked hunters versus 14 cell troopers. Whenever a trooper dies, they join the hunter team. Team. Crash Site Mode is basically a glorified king of the hill with alien tech. The multiplayer open beta begins next Tuesday on the 360, PS3, and PC. I'm looking forward to checking out the open beta, and if you'd like to get ready yourself, just follow the link in the description below. Although I'd like to make one suggestion. You should probably avoid the PC platform, because that's where I'll be playing, and I don't want to embarrass everyone with my elite FPS skills. Let's see if I can get through both of them, huh? Darn it, I'm gonna miss it. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> yeah, don't let that happen to you. Next up in news, Nintendo has revealed a new upcoming title from Monolith Soft. Today, Nintendo revealed an upcoming Wii U game from Xenoblade developer Monolith Soft. Although no name was given, a one-minute trailer displays graphics and gameplay very similar to Xenoblade Chronicles. The video shows off giant boss battles set in massive, impressive environments, and ends with a large red X, likely meaning it will be part of the Xenoblade series. Why, Nintendo, why? Now I'm gonna have to buy a Wii U! That game looks amazing! Between that and the next story, which is Wind Waker's getting an HD version, God, gonna have to spend money? During today's Nintendo Direct conference, it was announced that an HD remake of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is in the works. The updated edition includes improvements to both graphics and gameplay for this popular GameCube title. Wind Waker HD will be coming to the Wii U sometime this fall. In all seriousness though, I don't mind that I've got to spend money on a Wii U because these upcoming games look amazing. Now I never owned a GameCube so I didn't get to play the original Wind Waker, but I've heard it's one of the better Zelda titles and I'm really looking forward to, well, buying a Wii U this year and not only checking out this new X game but also looking at Wind Waker HD. Now also talking about Zelda today, Nintendo said that their next upcoming brand new Zelda game is going to be redefining the conventions of what it means to be a Zelda title. They specifically were pointing to things like moving from one dungeon to the next and playing by yourself. Now hearing this, my interpretation is that they're going to more of an open world and multiplayer system, which is that going to be good for Zelda? It's hard to tell, but I'll leave it to Nintendo to figure that out. And last up in news today, THQ is dead. Long live THQ's assets. Yeah, I know I said it twice, but it's clever. THQ officially closed shop today and auctioning off its assets and ending employment for much of its staff. The auction process resulted in the following acquisitions. Relic Studios and the Company of Heroes IP went to Sega Corporation for $26.6 million. THQ Montreal with the 1666 and Underdog IPs went to Ubisoft for $2.5 million. The Evolve IP, also known as Metamorphosis, went to Take-Two Interactive for $10.894 million. Volition Studios and the Saints Row IP went to Deep Silver for $22.3 million. The Homefront IP went to Crytek for $544,000. The Metro License, which includes 2033 and 34, went to Deep Silver for $5,877,000. And finally, the South Park The Stick of Truth License went to Ubisoft for $3,200,000. Well, I guess that's it. The end of an era, the closing of a chapter, and a new beginning for a few of these IPs. Now, I'm a little wishy-washy when it comes to some of these acquisitions. I'm specifically upset that Sega got Relic and Company of Heroes. But what can I do about it? Absolutely nothing. Just hope the game turns out well. What I want to know from you guys today is what do you think about these acquisitions and the finality of THQ's IPs going to these various new companies? Let me know if there are any specific ones that upset you or have you worried, or ones that you may be excited for. Of course, you can do all of that in the comments section below. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of the show. As always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force-Fed. Jeez, I haven't owned a Nintendo system since the N64. Huh, it should be exciting to finally be back in the Nintendo ecosystem. 
And at least I skipped all that motion crap. Because this is fun. Oh, I'm hitting pretend volleyballs with my hands. Awesome. 